Grid is one of the most powerful responsive layout tools you can use. In this lesson, we'll cover how to use it to quickly lay out a section and customize your layout per breakpoint. Let's jump right in. There are two grid tools in the Studio Editor. Section Grid for when you want to quickly divide up a section into cells, and CSS Grid, which works for both sections and containers. We'll cover CSS Grid in a later lesson. With Section Grid, you can add cells to a section in any direction, split existing ones, and style and resize them right on the canvas. Then add your content, like images, text, interactive elements, whatever you need. And to change things around at each breakpoint, you can do it with a few quick adjustments to create the ideal layout for each screen size. It gives you loads of different design possibilities. Here we go. Let's start by setting up a section grid here. There are a few ways to do this. You can choose one of these presets in the blank section, or you can set up your own by adding cells from the floating panel. At any point, you can convert a section grid over to a CSS grid, either by right-clicking on the section or from here in the inspector. We won't do it now, because once you do, there's no switching back. You can add a cell right in between these two by selecting the section and then hitting this plus icon. You can add a new cell on any side from the inspector under layout. Just choose from any of the options here, left or right, above or below. You can also split an existing cell in half, either vertically or horizontally. Now we can change around the size of the cells we have. We'll resize the cells using these handles. If you want all your cells to have an equal width or equal height, you can hit Equalize here in the inspector. In some cases, when you do this, the content inside might be bigger than the cell. If that happens, the cell will conform to the content. Behind the scenes, Studio adds invisible grid lines to keep the cells in place and make sure they behave according to the responsive behavior you've set for the section. This also keeps content from overlapping. With the section grid, cells are like containers, so they can be designed for the most part like any other container, like colors and borders. From here, you can also add some more styles, like a border or rounded corners. Once you're ready to add content to your grid cells, all you have to do is grab it from the Add panel and drag it into place. Let's stack these elements together. And we'll align these elements in their cells. To add an image to one of these cells, just select it and hit Add Media. It automatically stretches to fill this cell. Let's just double click to adjust it a bit. If you needed to split the cell again after adding the image, you still can. The image will stay stretched to one of the new cells that are created. Okay, next let's add some gaps between the cells. Make sure the section is selected, and when you go to layout, you can adjust both the horizontal and vertical gaps. Looks good, but let's also create a bit of a border here around the grid that's the same size as the gaps. To do that, we can go down to the position box and add padding to the section. Doing that reveals part of the section background. So if we want a different color here, just change the section background color. We could even make this a gradient or image to add depth. Let's undo all of that. All right, actually, let's do a little switch. If you want two cells to swap places, multi-select them with Shift and click Swap. All right, our design is all set on desktop. Let's see how it looks on tablet. We can set the responsive behavior of the grid just like we can with other elements. Because things are set to scale proportionally, it looks good on tablet. Let's check it on mobile. It's scaled down pretty small, so it's not the best. We could change the responsive behavior here, but on mobile, we're better off changing the whole layout to give viewers a better experience on a smaller screen. You can change the grid layout at each breakpoint to create the best experience for each screen size. Just switch up the layout from here. Rows are a good choice for mobile. 
Once you change it, Studio automatically calculates and creates an optimized layout for you. And if we want to make some more changes here, things like reordering cells or adjusting their height, we can without messing up the layout at higher breakpoints. That's it for Section Grid. Now you can lay out a section, add style and content, and adjust for different breakpoints. Remember, you can convert a section grid to CSS grid whenever you want. We'll cover the advanced grid in a later lesson, but up next we'll cover another layout tool, repeaters.